Welcome back into the Sports Source, this segment brought to you by Benedict Construction. You see the website right there. When it comes to custom remodeling, no one is better. The same goes for custom additions like this deck and patio. The photos show it going in from scratch, just absolutely beautiful. Unique, affordable, quality custom work. Call Benedict Construction to talk about your project. Custom work, custom remodeling. All right, back with VFL offensive lineman Mike Stoll. VFL offensive lineman Kyler Kerbison and over at the Benedict Construction Big Board, you see the, what I did was I took five different depth charts. I said, let's just take the average. So I put the average of five different depth charts up there along the offensive line. You see three names in red, two of them are the same guy. Dontavious Blair, Ray Rollerson. Well, they're all backups. Well, here's the thing, they're transferring out. And especially there at center, he was the clear cut backup to Coleman Thomas. Kyler, in terms of this group, and there are other guys you could put on there. There are, there are other freshmen you could put in there. There are some other walk-ons you could put on there. But in terms of guys who will be playing, how many of those guys are ready to step in at center if need be? Well, um, the great thing about Coach Mahoney is he prepares you for anything. So uh, right now on the board, Brett Kendrick, Dylan Wiseman, Jack Jones, Jay Sean Robertson, Vinzo Bowler, all know how to snap. They all practice it. So he's really preparing all of those guys. If something were to happen, someone could step in. If Coleman were to go down, I see most likely Dylan Wiseman going to center and Jack Jones stepping up at guard. And that's how it would go. In order, if Wiseman went down, Jay Sean probably over to center, Venzel up to guard. So there are backups. They're not directly behind him, but right. there's a lot of guys on the team who can snap. Mike Stoll, you played just about everywhere you could play. You even played center uh, when you were in the CFL. Um, how difficult is it? It's one thing to practice. Your main position is X, but we yeah. give you some snaps at Y. How difficult is it, though, when it's game time, you're against Alabama, Coleman Thomas has to come out for some reason. Now you're in there for real at center. Go for it. Yeah. How tough is that? Yeah, so you go from guard to tackle, right guard to left guard, left right guard, right tackle, moving around, even guard to tackle on an opposite side. That's not that difficult. Um, you know, because you have timing. Center's a whole different ball game. I mean, you have a guy right here just teeing off on you, and you've got to snap the ball. You've got to see the defense. You've got to step to the right way. It, it's a difficult position to play. And if, if they put somebody right on your nose and they take advantage of that and they bull you over, you know, it's, it's really hard to, to adjust to. Practices, you know, are, are adjustable. Snapping the ball, you get that down. But once you get a guy, you know, this far from your nose and he's teeing off on you and you got to snap the bar you got a shotgun snap and you got to get everything and you got to get it all solved and put people in the right position it's it's a lot harder um the good news is there are guys that have played that position in game scenarios so that's a little bit easier but it can still be uh, very difficult um you know if you have somebody go down a right guard you can pull somebody from a tackle and throw them in there you have somebody go down at center it's harder to pull somebody in the center and then that next play they got to get the exchange right away so it, it there's there's a little bit of nerves that go on with that Connor, who's your most versatile not not necessarily center but of the guys on that offensive line group who's your most versatile lineman at this point uh i would probably say brett kendrick at this point um coleman thomas is another one who's pretty versatile uh but He's a weird hybrid where he plays center and tackle yeah. and doesn't play any guard. Um, but Brett has gotten reps at all of them, so and both sides. So he's definitely a guy that could bounce around if need be. Um, he's the sixth man of an NBA team, if you would say, um, and can just bounce around to wherever somebody needs him. Coleman Thomas, to me, is uh, he's the guy that everybody's pulling for, I think. You should be, because thrown in at a position that wasn't his natural position as a freshman. Mm. Struggle like heck. I mean, that was, that was rough. Throw you in there against the big boys in the SEC, that's tough. And he was exposed, and a lot of people came down on him, said, this guy's terrible, get him out of there. Now he's getting talked for being one of the best centers in the SEC. Um, to me, that's a guy, if you talk about where you started and where you are now, Pretty good development from Coleman Thomas. Well, it's great, but it also talks about the center position again. It's all about leverage, right? So where, where Coleman had problems was leverage. He could snap the ball, but 
he snapped the ball and then somebody's right on him and pushing him back and he's higher. Uh, leverage is so critical at the center posi position and he's learned now, snap the ball, stay low, use his strength, use his leverage so that he doesn't get knocked back right there at the point of attack. So, it, you know, it's it, it's been a uh, trial by fire, but he has matured tremendously to where he is one of the better centers out there. Yeah. All right. Um, did you have something to add? Um, just another thing, yeah, leverage. I mean, that's really what he's got to work on. And it's hard for him. He's 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. He's one of the taller centers that, you know, SEC has. So uh, it, it really has to work on staying low and, you know, keeping his weight on the insteps and not on back on his heels. When we come back, I've got some rapid fire questions for you guys. You have about 30 seconds, 40 seconds apiece to answer them. Come on back, quick slants with the two VFL offensive linemen on the Sports Source. <laughs> 